how to create a drop down list on excel hi guys welcome back today i'm going to be giving you a tutorial on how to create a drop down list on excel so let's get started first of course you will open up your microsoft excel and uh, we create different lists and sheets all the time on excel and sometimes we want to create a drop down list for example i will add uh, you know a serial number here and i want to create a drop down list that whenever somebody clicks on it they will be able to actually check a drop down list um and now uh let's get started with the process uh first of all we will require two sheets in our excel document so i'm gonna go ahead and insert a new sheet first uh, simply go to your home and then we have cell right here in cells we have insert and in insert we have insert sheets i'm just gonna click on it or we also have an another easy way to add a new sheet which is this plus right here which adds a new sheet really easily so i'm just going to click on this plus icon and now we have two sheets so first of all this is my sheet one where i want to create a drop down menu uh sorry drop down list or menu whatever you can call it so first i'm just going to go ahead and type in what i want to add here so these are going to be my serial number let's say and i want it to be a drop down list or maybe these are different role numbers uh for my class so i'm just going to type in role number here so now i need to enter all of the role numbers i have like 30 students so i need to add them here but i will actually go to my sheet two and then similarly i'm just going to type in here just for my convenience that this is going to be my roll number list so now i just have to enter uh my data what i want to add here so i'm just gonna quickly type in so i have added my numbers right here like this is one of my list uh let's go with another one uh if we just go for an example and i'm just gonna go ahead and type in maybe uh days so i'm gonna type in days of the week so i'm gonna move on to my sheet two is actually a sheet for my data so if you have data somewhere already saved then you will not need to actually you know create a new sheet like this but i'm just giving you an example uh, that we need to actually have a data first for our uh, you know insertion right here where we will be adding it so i'm just gonna quickly type in the days of the week as well for our second list we have saturday and then we have sunday so perfect we have this list now and this is my first list now i will move to my first sheet here this is the list this is like the word where i want to create a drop down list so in order to do that we i will simply go to data here and in data we have our data validation so here in data validation we have different settings and we have uh, we can actually add different values or a list or a data anything we like so i'm gonna go with list here and now we have to get a source and this is where uh, we put our data validation in excel so now we have to insert our source from where we want to add the list so this is where i will be adding my list that i that we created so i'm gonna go to my sheet two and now i'm gonna select all of my you know different numbers so we have like 30 numbers so i'm just gonna select them Control a let's do it again so we have this right here and i have selected it now what i need to do is i'm going back to my sheet one so again like really clearly for you guys we have to just go to data validation and i'm gonna go and select list again and then we're gonna move on to sheet two control a right so now you'll just select the range so i'm gonna select from one and we're gonna select till course till 30. so we have our source a1 to a30 and i'm gonna click on apply but we can also input message if you like and we can insert a title again uh, for our list uh, which can be like roll number for this one and we can just type in the title then we can also insert a message 
um so i'll go back to settings again and click on apply so once you click on apply and we go back to our sheet one now you can see it has this like uh, option and if i click on it we have our roll number list given so this is how you can simply go ahead and add a drop down list similarly we have days right so i'm going to select days and let me again show you data validation right go to your sheets this time i'm going to select this range here and so now we're going to select a range from here and you can see i'm just going to go ahead and select this one so we have from c3 to c9 uh perfect and you can see now i will click on apply so once it's applied let's go back to our sheet one on our sheet one now if we check we will have our own days added right here as a drop down again so this way you can see we get our drop down here and we can just go ahead and insert any kind of drop down list so you will also get this drop down button now and you can see it has expanded data validation list similarly i have this list as well so you can get data from your different list and you can create a drop down list within your excel this way you can see we get our own expanded data and you can then delete the rest of the sheets of course if you are you have created a document so to delete a sheet of course i'm just gonna go to home and then we're gonna go to cells go to delete and then i'm going to click on delete sheet okay so i'm going to delete my sheet two as well go to home go to delete and then we have our delete sheet option so this way we will be able to delete sheets as well and there we go we have one sheet now uh, of course this is just like a tutorial so i'm not going to create much of uh you know different lists but now we can move on to our next step i have my days i have my roll number similarly i can create as many drop down lists as i like to save um you know the space for our uh, sheet right here or we can actually if we're doing complicated if we're creating complicated documents then we will be able to do so um well uh, creating a, a drop down list is really easy you can do that this way once you're done you can save your document and now you have an excel sheet with a drop down list i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know how to create a drop down list in excel so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know everything that you wanted to know and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if this tutorial was a big help to you i tried to everything about the topic and i hope that you understood everything and now you are good to go and don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends and family members so they can also get the information they want to also you can subscribe to the youtube channel the button will be given right down below go ahead and subscribe to the youtube channel also hit the notification bell so every time you get notified when we post a video so yeah also leave a comment down below what was your favorite part and what did you learn from this video or if you have any question